The U.S. administration has leveled unacceptable accusations against Eritrea, announcing associated measures that it will take against a chief of staff of Eritrea's defense forces under what it terms the Global Magnitsky Act. The government of Eritrea rejects, both in letter and spirit, the utterly baseless allegations and blackmail directed against it. This is not, indeed, the first time for the U.S. administration to float such baseless smear campaigns against Eritrea. In his response of March 13, 2021 to U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, Eritrea's foreign minister had stated that it is unfortunate that you have drawn certain conclusions on the basis of unsubstantiated media misinformation. I am also dismayed by the tone of your letter which seems to revert to unconstructive policies successive U.S. administrations had pursued on Eritrea in the past 30 years. I do not wish to go into acrimonious details in this letter, but earnestly hope for timely remedies. In the face of the repetitive and unwarranted accusations, Eritrea cannot remain silent. In the circumstances, Eritrea calls on the U.S. administration to bring the case to an independent adjudication, if it indeed has facts, to prove its false allegations. The government of Eritrea also urges the UN Security Council to shoulder its responsibility to deter and seek redress to repeated acts of flagrant violations of international law and the sovereignty of peoples and nations by the United States of America. Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Asmara. August 23, 2021.